Warning, Shirley is currently suffering from a horrible dose of the flu. Please refrain from sitting too close to the screen as you may contract the bubonic plague and die a horrific and painful death. You have been warned. <coughs> my god, it's been hot in England recently. Or as my dad always says, bloody hell, it's cracking flags out here. Which brings me to a confession, and I imagine that this isn't a popular opinion. I hate summer. <laughs> I know I should be a typical English person who worships the sun when it finally comes out, but summer just makes me feel really uncomfortable. What can I say? I was born in winter and that's the way I like it. I like wrapping up in a million layers and going for walks in the snow. I like building fires and huddling around them when it's raining. That's just what feels natural to me, so when summer finally does descend upon us, I turn into a hot mess. First off, I'm one of those people that overheats really quickly, and I mean super quick. I can go outside in the depths of winter in just jeans and a t-shirt and after 10 minutes of walking I am sweating like a pedo in a nursery. Probably not the best metaphor I could have used there. And in the summer this is intensified massively so walking anywhere becomes an Olympic event. Especially because even though I'm not asthmatic I find it quite hard to breathe when it's hot outside and even in the shade I get panic attacks from the heat so basically just being outside during summer sucks for me. During my first year of uni, I lived on the 8th floor of the student hall building and it was unbearably hot in the summer there. So while I was doing all my coursework in my room, I just wore no clothes whatsoever. But I kept a dress on the bed behind me so that when someone knocked on my door and wanted to talk to me, I could just shout, one sec, and throw the dress on and pretend that I hadn't been sitting there doing an essay in the nude. We're classy up north. My second reason for hating summer, which I think more of you will understand, is that I am terrified of bees and wasps and they are everywhere. My big fears in life are all mental ones, like fear of failure, fear of the future, but physical things I'm usually fine with. I'm not scared of spiders, heights, enclosed spaces, anything like that. But the one physical thing that just terrifies me more than anything is the idea of being stung by a bee or a wasp. Now, before any of you animal activists get all up in my face, I am all for the preservation of bees. They're important to agriculture as we know it, but the fact that one of them could kill me as soon as I step out of my house, that I have a problem with. Doctors have no sympathy whatsoever with this, because I've asked multiple times to be tested and they just ignored me, but I'm allergic to a hell of a lot of things, and if you're allergic to a beer or wasp sting, it can kill you within hours. I feel like maybe if I knew I definitely wasn't allergic to stings, then I wouldn't be so scared, because then it's like, what's the worst that could happen? I'd just swell up for a bit and then it'd be over. But just knowing that there is a chance, I am not happy with that. I don't know where this fear even came from, because I've never been one for phobias, and I'm not scared of death in any other circumstance. Stands. I have no problem going about my life knowing that it's perfectly possible that I could get run over or murdered or develop cancer, but going outside in summer knowing that there are bees and wasps out there that could sting me at any moment, I just can't handle it. It ruins the whole summer for me, like I have my window wide open at first, but then as soon as I witness the first bee or wasp of the year, that window is shut until it snows again. Ugh, I can't even talk about it anymore. Another thing that gets annoying in summer is that because it's so lovely and warm, the entire population of Britain comes out and clogs up the whole world. Let's go to the beach. Mm, there's no room anywhere. And there's kind of litter all over the place. I know, let's go to a theme park. Oh, there's a three hour queue for every ride. This sucks. All right, let's go out for a nice meal instead. Every restaurant in town's booked up. Fine, let's just go to the pub and sit in the beer garden for a bit. No, oh, there's no seats. Guess we'll just... Stand around awkwardly then. Too many people dropping too much litter and showing too much flesh. And finally, as I've been experiencing over the past few days, you can still get the flu in summer. <sighs> Why? Well anyway, after all that's been said, you'll be surprised to learn that I'm off on holiday to Cornwall in a couple of days to enjoy wrestling with half-naked strangers over the last chair in an overcrowded pub beer garden and then give it up after being attacked by a swarm of bees and then eventually just sitting indoors with all the windows closed, crying in a corner until we come back. Yay! So there will be no video next week, but I'll be back to tell you all about my Cornwall adventures the week after. Bye bye